they really really did not believe in me they really didn't believe in me but god did <laughs> god did listen i want you to just put in the comments below write the word chosen i'm gonna explain what it means a little bit later in this video but right now i just want you to put the word chosen in the comments because they really truly did not believe in me and if you but listen see when i was on top of the world see when everything was good see when i was making a little money when i was in grad school when i had all these friends and all these people who wanted to be around with me everything was sweet right everything was good it was golden right right i had a little money everything was good life was good right but you see when uh, 2017 rolled around and I had what's called a spiritual awakening, everything changed. Literally, my life was turned upside down. Everything was changed. A lot of y'all probably already know because y'all probably experienced it as well, but it just seemed like when I went through that spiritual awakening, everything went from bad to worse. Where I was depressed, uh, I didn't really have the words to even put to some of this stuff because you know I didn't even really I wasn't really fully aware of what I was going through. But I was depressed. I was in a, a toxic relationship where I was the one being abused um, every single day, both emotionally, uh, physically, and mentally, just abused. Um, I was completely broke. I didn't have any money. I was borrowing money from you know just so I could eat and have my basic necessities met. I was really going through it. I was really going through it. And so while I'm going through my dark period of time, right, my wilderness period, it seemed like everybody disappeared, right? Every single person in my life who I value disappeared. All those friends I was just talking about when I was on top of the world, when I had money and life was good, all those people disappeared, okay? Ain't nobody was calling me. Ain't nobody was checking on me. I would call close family members and they wouldn't answer, but they would text me back. I would call friends and they wouldn't answer or they wouldn't text me. They wouldn't even text me just to have someone to talk to and no response, okay? So when I tell y'all I was alone, I was alone, okay? I was alone in a dark place and that was exactly where I needed to be. Thank you, God, because listen, some of y'all ain't gonna get that, but I was exactly where I needed to be because in that dark place is where I found myself. In that dark place is where I learned who I really was. In my dark place, that's where I figured it all out. I eventually came back around and, came back, I came back around. you know, I came back this enlightened person. I came back with knowledge and information, right? I came back person. I came back with brilliant ideas, great ideas, things that we could do, how we can collaborate, right? Nobody wanted to hear it, okay? Nobody wanted to support me, right? That's when I realized they didn't believe in me, right? They didn't believe in me. The same person who was already at the top, the same person who already had all these ideas and already had seen what success looked like, they didn't believe in me, right? I would have brilliant ideas. Uh, people would be like, you know, I wanna work with you. I wanna invest with you. I wanna pour into you. But when it came down to it, those people, where, where, where they at? Where were they? I don't know. You know, granted, they have some people in my life who, who helped me get back on my feet after those tough times, but the majority of the people, they didn't believe in me. They didn't want to see me succeed. So when we would try to do certain projects, it would fail in a perfectly unexplainable way. And things just wouldn't work out in a perfectly unexplainable way. And um, I would ask people for their support. I would ask people for help. And it got to the point where eventually I was like, damn, damn, can't nobody do nothing. I can't depend on anybody for anything. And that's when I finally woke up. I realized they can't see through my eyes. They can't see the vision that God gave me. I realized that they're never going to get it because I have to lead the way because I am the chosen one. Okay. And if you're watching this, if you're still watching this, you are the chosen one. Okay. You have a purpose on your life. And that's why early I said comment chosen because you are the chosen one. You're here, you're here right now. You're listening to this video. This is your sign. You are the chosen one. So go ahead, if you haven't already, put in the comments chosen, chosen. Because I had to realize that they're never gonna get it. I have to lead the way. I have to lead the way. I realized that I needed to do the work that I had been avoiding. I needed to heal myself. I had to heal myself in a way that I could be better for everyone else around me that I cared about and that I love. I had to realize that my personal development is everything, okay? I had to realize that my environment, some of y'all need to look at, some of y'all need to look at some of the people that you're around and make some assessments. Some of y'all need to sever some ties. Some of y'all need to cut the umbilical cord. Some of y'all need to really take a look at who you got in your life and really realize they're not helping you elevate, if you're not helping them elevate, if they're not pouring into you, getting better because of each other, then you need to cut them off. Listen, your purpose is not tied to any person but you. Okay, your purpose, your destiny, your faith is not tied to any person but you. And if you feel sick when they're around, if you feel aggravated or agitated when they're around, if you feel disgusted or, or 
you know, held back when they're around and you need to let them go. If they have a suppressive personality, if they're not helping you grow, if they're not helping you get better, if they're not, if they're not trying to make you better and vice versa, then you need to let them go because they're standing in the way of your purpose, okay? If they're not supporting you, if they're not helping you grow, they're standing in the way of your purpose. And for a while, it's gonna suck. It's going to suck when you make going through this transition. It's going to suck. When I was going through my transition, it sucked. It sucked even after I started coming out of the depression, even after I started coming out of the, the wilderness period that I had to go through, right? It still sucked because here I am trying to, you know, balance around, balance certain people, figure out who is who, who is benefiting from my presence versus and vice versa, and, and who's holding me back, and who am I helping grow, and who's, uh, debilitating and who's cutting who who's suppressing my goals and my dreams okay it sucked for a while because there's a lot of people that i actually care about that i can't associate myself with anymore okay and that's just the, the honest truth because like i said in previous videos everybody cannot go where you're going they can't and so you got to realize that and realize that it's gonna suck but you have to do it so once you start doing the work once you start healing yourself once you start severing ties with people once you start putting yourself in the right environments everything will change your life will improve and for a while it's gonna seem like nothing is happening for a while you know you're gonna be journaling you're gonna be writing you're gonna be praying you're gonna be raising your vibration you're gonna be elevating you're gonna be doing all these things right self-development you're gonna be listening to to to, to audible you're be doing all these self-developments and personal developments and it's gonna seem like nothing is happening but one day it's all gonna take off okay you gotta get that foundation right back in 2019 see this is what happened with me in 2019 things started to come together I started to realize things were coming together. Now is not the time to let up. Now is the time that I need to start buckling down and getting better at this. Okay? The things that I was speaking, like I said back in 2019, the things that I was speaking were starting to manifest in my reality. The things that I was writing down every single day, the things that I was reading and saying that I wanted to create in my life were starting to, the foundation was starting to come. I could start to see, I was able to start to see how this is gonna be the foundation, right? This is the one thing that's gonna help me get to this destination. This is the person that's gonna help me. Listen, my relationships started changing, especially, listen, let me back up a second. See, once I cut off my toxic relationship, y'all, once I ended my toxic relationship, my whole life shifted. I had to go through a period, like I said, but once I got rid of that person, that suppressive personality, my whole life shifted, my whole life changed, okay? I'm with a beautiful woman who I love and adore very much, okay, who is super supportive, my businesses are flourishing. They're not exactly where I want them to be right now, but they're getting better each day, okay? I have a family and a, a, a friend network who I love and they love me. Listen, I'm telling y'all, I wrote all of this down when there was nobody around. I wrote all of this down when it didn't look, it look like, like I was gonna make it out, okay? I wrote all of this down. I started taking myself seriously. I started praying. I started meditating. I started doing yoga. I was doing yoga for a while. I was being mindful. I was doing all these things to get better. I was working on myself. Okay. And I'm telling you one day, like I said, one day you're going to turn around and you're going to start seeing that progress and that foundation and things are just going to keep getting better and better. So what am I saying? What I'm saying is you have to know that you have a major purpose for your life. You have to know that if you're here today, if you woke up today, then you were chosen. Okay, not everybody was chosen to be here today, but you were. You have to know that you have a major purpose, okay? And like I said, your purpose is not tied to anyone else but you. So when I say God God did, like DJ Kelly, I know that's where I get it from. God believed in me, that's it. That's all you need, yourself and God. Now what's gonna happen is once you start elevating, people are gonna start coming back around. I don't know, you gotta use your own discernment at that point, but they don't have to believe in you. You have to believe in you. You have to trust that everything is gonna work out. And if things are not working out, then that's not, not tied to, you. to your purpose and you need to let it go. Don't be afraid to let people and situations go because your destiny, your purpose, your fate is gonna be much greater than anything that you can imagine if you just start moving in that direction, okay? So if it's a struggle, if you have to fight to keep somebody around, if you have to fight to keep a situation going, that is not tied to your purpose, you need to let it go, okay? Your environments are super crucial. How you feel is super crucial, okay? You have to start working on these you things. Start moving in that, that direction. You have to start trying to get better. And you say, Jeff, how do I do that? I've already told you before. Listen, 
Values and principles. I look at my values and my principles every single day. Every single day I look at my values and my principles and they keep me in alignment, okay? I have a whole workbook that teaches you how to do it, okay? In this workbook, listen, listen if you take it seriously, if you take this workbook seriously, boom. I take, look, I write in mine every day. I read mine every, every day. And listen, get your copy on Amazon. Link will be in the description below. But the point of this video is not to sell you anything, but it's just let you know that you need to start working on yourself. If you go click on that link and buy it, great. If you don't, great. As long as you do something. If you just write something down, if you just write your goals, if you just write 10 goals a day, 10 things that you wanna manifest a day, if you, if you just talk about it with somebody, things that you wanna bring into your reality, just talk about it with somebody, okay? There's things that you can do to begin to improve your life. You just have to start moving in that direction. And the workbook is just an option. option. In my opinion, it's the best option, but it's not the only option. Okay, but you have to start moving in that direction. And again, be around people who celebrate you. Be around people who make you happy. Be around people that you make happy. Don't be around nobody who get upset and angry, uptight, and uh, when you come around, or who, when they call your phone, you get all tense and nervous and upset and angry and, and don't want to be bothered like those are the people you need to cut off those are the people that you need to distance yourself with and maybe things will be better in the future you know delayed is not denied it just means not right now okay align decline okay we already been through this but those are the people that you need to start disassociating with and start getting happier with yourself and happier with your life and realize that not everything is about problems okay if your whole life is about problems even if you're a positive person if you're always looking for a solution, not everything is about trying to find a solution. Not everything is about the problem. Sometimes you just need to go find ways to be happy. Just go do something that makes you happy. You don't have to always be trying to find a problem or a solution, okay? And if that's you, go do something right now to make you happy. Last thing I'm gonna say and I'm gonna let y'all go, I just want you to know that your whole life could change overnight, okay? If you believe your whole life can literally change overnight, there are people who have all kind of crazy wild success stories with trying to better their lives and just it changes overnight okay you have to do the work okay you have there's some things you need to do but your whole life can change overnight i've seen people have debt wiped out completely okay i've seen people find the love of their life and totally transform their lives okay your life can change overnight if you truly believe they don't have to believe in you you believe in you you just believe in you and know that it doesn't matter if nobody believes in you. God did. God does. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna leave y'all with this, okay? I just want you to just get in your zone, okay? Just get in the zone. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Just focus on doing what you gotta do. Do the work. Heal yourself. Do the work and heal yourself. And guess what? It will all work out. Listen, if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Manifestation is real. Manifesting is real. Whether you do it deliberately or not, it's up to you. It's working. Okay? It's working all around us whether you believe it or not. So you may as well just use it to your benefit, <laughs> okay? All right, so anyway, that's it. That's all. This was a message I feel like that we all needed to hear. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and watch this video myself because I feel like it's a message that I needed to hear too. So until the next video, y'all, I'll let y'all the next one. <laughs>